welcome back everyone to another video and in one of my previous videos we took a look at dxvk which uh, turned directx 11 to vulcan uh, directx 11 api calls to vulcan in order to make it work on your linux environment using wine so it was updated recently and it got support for dxvk 10 uh, or directx 10 and what ended up happening was crisis now runs so the original crisis runs fine because it was made for directx 10 and not directx 11 so it was not working earlier but now as you can see i have steam up i have crisis warhead loaded up and we are going to go ahead and play that so all i have to do is press play wait for a few seconds for it to run and eventually it will start running and there we go that's uh, that's the game loading up and loading screen frame rates are uh, just what you would expect all right so that's the in-game menu let me go through the um, settings real quick so we have the video mode on 1600 by 900 anti-aliasing is off um, and that's about it i've selected the optimal settings uh, so everything is set to well, gamer for some reason uh, so we'll go back select new game and go ahead and start game and see how that looks so again this is the cutscene, uh the the first one and uh, the fps would be high because it's everything is pre-rendered and really very low risk so we can go ahead and skip that and wait for the actual game to load uh, and get on with that all right so let's go and start the actual game so as you can see the frame rates are pretty favorable and uh, now of course a lot of this is going to be uh, restricted by the i3 that i have in there and uh, it's not particularly helpful when it comes to um, running dxvk so if you have an i5 I or an i7 especially one of the latest ones it should work pretty well uh, same with any other cpu ryzen or whatever so um, while that cutscene happens all right so you can see uh, the initial fps pretty good and we start moving uh, it should fluctuate a lot uh, not because the game is particularly demanding it's just the cpu bottleneck so you can you might see the fps hitting around 70s uh, in a second and that's because the cpu is just free enough and then suddenly it just drops to 30s uh, which is very weird but that's what happens uh, apart from that, I've run this game on the Vine D3D and there are a lot of glitches and stuff that happens uh, all over the place because it's using DX10 to OpenGL rather than DX10 to uh, Vulkan uh, and there are no such uh, weird glitches. The graphs do look quite a bit off, uh, you know, you can see these dancing lights but that's kind of the only uh, thing I can see whereas in Wine D3D yeah, it was pretty bad uh, there were weird glitches all over the place um, apart from that pretty much everything else looks fine I mean it's, it's running okay I'm not running it at a particularly high resolution not even 1080p but th that's just to capture the video as we've seen before uh, increasing the resolution wouldn't really affect performance a whole lot uh, if you are bottlenecked by the CPU um, yeah so it is pretty demanding but you do get around 40 to 60 percent of the actual performance now I know steam has recently released their 
uh, updated Linux client which has all of this inbuilt but they have only a few games to test with and I couldn't really see crisis on, on that list otherwise I would have um, straight gone into that rather than going into something like this but um, as long as this works I guess uh, I've tested a few more things uh, a few more games uh, Bioshock Infinite didn't use to run because it was partly based on uh, DX10 and then partly based on DX11 uh, so now uh, since we have capabilities for both of them it works there is one catch uh, and that is the, the the crisis binaries need to be 64 bit but with uh, with something like uh, if you download it off GOG or Steam uh, they do provide the 64 bit binaries with Steam you need to kind of uh, modify so that it loads the 64-bit binaries uh, otherwise it just works fine yeah the grass uh, the plants do glitch out a whole lot i'm seeing just more of it uh, right now earlier i thought it was some effect of the game itself uh, because water was pouring down but uh, if you if you look at this tree it's um yeah it, all right so this was kind of weird if i put on the binaries the trees um, if I put on the binoculars, the trees go wild. Without them, it's fine. Uh, I think it might be the flashlight uh, interacting with it, but uh, I mean, yeah, that's again the only thing. Um, what I am seeing on the recording is it might be looking like there's a lot of motion blur. There isn't. Uh, if it looks like that, it's just plain and simple so it's actually pretty smooth and playable um, but it just looks like that I'm playing it on an old hardware not on a GTX 960 uh, this is nowhere close to what a 960 would get on crisis uh, even with an i3 it's an old demanding title but then um, it's not so demanding that it runs at 40 fps at um, at a weird uh, resolution I guess that's um, about it and uh, thank you so much for watching uh, I hope you like the DXVK project uh, kudos to the developers I'll leave a link in the description so you all can go ahead and check it out uh, and make it work uh, and of course as soon as I get the steam stuff up and working I haven't really played around with that i'll uh, give you all an update on that as well uh, so for the time being thank you so much for watching and i'll see you all in the next one